Okay gang, I'm here with a bunch of these paint dabbers um, from Adirondack, from Ranger. I have here Lake Mist and Raspberry, and I also have an eggplant waiting in the wings. I just picked these up at um, Tuesday morning for $1.50. They're not a bad deal even at $5. So the way these work is you give them a good shake, and they have a ball in there, or they're supposed to, but give them a good shake and take off the lid and there's a sponge dauber at the top. And you can even feel it click a little bit. So you can go directly to your page with this, push it down and sort of squeeze just a little bit and they'll just flow out and go on. They're pretty neat. Um, so if you have don't have a dedicated space and you're using your dining room table uh, or your living room floor, this is really a nice way to go. Um, the, the coverage is, is thin. It's not a heavy coat but um, you can go on a couple coats. This is on In My Delusions again with the page. These pages happen to be gessoed. So I'm just going to squeeze out a bunch of this and go ahead and move it around on the page. Because when I look these up online, I noticed that people are also buying these foam tops. So I don't know how long these foam tops will last, but I suspect they'll last a bit longer if you clean off the top. You could even squirt that with water or use a wet rag or a baby wipe to clean that up. But I keep the top on, make sure it snaps back down. And I'm going with the eggplant. Okay, so essentially put it down. I'm going to put it on my craft mat and listen for that click and then squeeze. Okay, and that's that's where the paint comes out. And that's that's covering pretty good. I sort of left this page gessoed in a more rough way. Uh, this is actually some, something like the third time I'm I am uh, shooting this part of the video. I kept forgetting to turn on the record button. So after this is done, sort of like that, I want to, I'm just picking that up for cleanliness sakes, but I'm going to go around the edge and sort of blend it in a little bit. So you don't need any brushes at all, and I'm just getting sort of a vignette look um, I'll come back with, I'm going to be exploring these uh, f for you, and um, I'll come back with some more ideas. But I'm hoping this really encourages new artists uh, to try the, these daubers and to try some painting. So, Okay, so I use these two colors, uh, Lemonade and Pool, and I... I there was sort of two coats of the lemonade to push that background back. And um, that was actually the one I had planned, that background that led through here. So, but it was just too strong and I wanted to play, um, push it back a little bit. So these worked really well on that. They seem to be a decent paint and really great if you are a beginner. Little troubleshooting. I noticed that um, the various places that sell these also sell these replacement tops. So uh, just hold it upright after you're done using it, just as you would a brush. Just I sprayed a bunch of water onto this rag, and I'm just cleaning that out. I don't know. I think you could probably even spray the top. Let's try that. I'm going to play with these a lot more and um, get back to you because I have some ideas. Uh, but this is basic. And then just push, put that top back on snug. I'm still, I'm not happy with this because it has a gray tone to it. And I'm going to explain why that happened. Um, there was purple in here and there was more purple than I thought. So what happened when I put the yellow on top of it? 
We have violet over here on our color wheel and then the complement of yellow over here. So these two colors together make a very nice gray, but I, I really don't want it here on my journal page. So I'm going to grab, I was going to show you this anyway in this video, um, how to get some gesso on your pages, just really simple. I just put a little bead of, I had Liquitex, doesn't matter, any kind of gesso. Just at the top of my page, I have a rag and I also have a credit card. And then to get a really thin coat that's going to dry pretty evenly, um, just scrape it down the page. I might need a little bit more, but that's knocking, that's knocking stuff back. And um, I'm almost done with this journal, but... Um, what I would recommend with a journal like, like this one that's um, leading through a whole lot is going ahead and go ahead and gesso your page first. And this is an easy way to do it because you don't have to even use a brush. So I might, um, in fact, I think I will just kind of rub some away from the edges because I did like that edge. I could even go in and put another coat of this is working actually. I'm just taking some away. So there's still that, I liked that border. So I'm just going to take some away. And then the next thing I'm going to do is have a peek uh, into my collage fodder and see what uh, speaks to me. Okay, so I'm pulling some stuff together here and um, I grabbed some yellow paint. Um, I grabbed this tag. I had cut a circle out of the middle of it for something or other and something that says sun. Now, I'm about to do the same thing here that I did on my page that made it gray. But let's see what happens. I've got some spray ink and a stencil. I think I'll just put that stencil like that. I'm just sort of trying to avoid the purple a little bit. It's kind of funny that I'm doing the exact same such thing again. All right, so um, that's cool. That works. Sorry about the glare, by the way. It's super hot in my studio, and I can only air condition some of it. So um, um, this is why I have yellow all over my hand. hands. Okay, so I uh, just squirted out a lot, bunch of yellow there. Being of the opinion that... Yellow usually makes things better. I, I like that um, idea of just squirting a bunch of yellow on it if it's something annoying. And that was yellow medium azo from Liquitex, but any yellow will do. Um, I think this, I'm not sure which is more transparent. doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll let that dry, and then I'm going to put this or maybe I won't use the sun because that looks like enough sun to me. All right. So then I'm going to, let's glue this down up here somewhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and work through it and let you guys watch.
Here's my page as it stands at this point. I will probably write some more here. I have um, I've used those little stickers, that kind of scrapbooky stuff, and um, I put a little bit of foiling in here. And I think you saw me do the yellow part. I had so much trouble making this video. I I kept forgetting to turn my camera on. Here's another. Um, page that I did with the the dabbers, the ranger paint dabbers. And I'll tell you the truth, I really like it because you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see, yeah, you can see that sheen from the acrylic paints, but the dabbers are much more of a matte finish. Though these are gonna be a lot easier to work on top of. So they're really a great buy for, um, art journaling. So I just thought I'd give you a little flip through. I have a page here ready to go and do some writing on here. And um, I've got a paper clips in these. Um, again, I did some writing. I used an index. Uh, no, that's not an index card. That's a shipping tag that I cut from watercolor paper. Did a little bit of art of um, foiling here. I've taken to keeping that foiling ready. Now here's a great example of using these Project Life cards. Um, that's a Project Life card. I glued it on there. I went over it with um, an ink pad, some Distress ink. It picked up really nicely but left off the gold. I did some writing here. I had another um, smaller project life and I just, I cut a big circle out of it and then cut a circle out of a piece of that ledger paper and sort of inlaid it here. So now I have plenty of room to write and I could even put maybe something right here. So um, that's another great use for those if you're dying to buy them. Now here is, um, the 4th of July sort of page that I was sort of going for a scrappy look on. And um, this is kind of what came of it. I have a couple more pictures hanging around somewhere. Can't find them um, to post in here. And some writing to do about that. So that's it for today. Um, don't forget to thumbs up like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you soon.